In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria, use appropriate positional vocabulary to describe position and direction, including between, inside, outside, middle, below, on top, forwards and backwards. You can locate the questions on the MassMath.com website under Entry 2. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Daisy buys a cake. She buys the cake on the top tier of the cake stand. Tick the cake on the top tier of the cake stand. So it has three tiers, as you can see, and this is the top one. Kay washes this clothes. Where are the clothes? Tick your answer. Outside of the basket? On top of the basket, inside the basket, below the basket. The clothes are inside the basket. So C is the correct answer. The vet clinic has cages for the animals to stay in for their treatment. The vet asks the nurse which cage rabbit X will go in. This diagram shows a plan of the cages. What does the nurse tell the vet? Finish the sentence. Rabbit X will go in the cage in the middle. Because that's in the middle. We now move into the calculator questions. Alex takes his car to a garage. He has a street map. The garage is on the left between a supermarket and a bank. Show where the garage is on the map. So, on the left and between a supermarket and a bank. There is a supermarket and there is the bank, so it must be here. Lucy fits shelves on a wall. She needs to change the middle shelf. Which is the middle shelf? Show your answer on the diagram. So, right in the middle, we have this one here because we have, if we just cross out one each side, we get to this one. So three above it and three under. Ruby has a box of DVDs. Where has she put the box? Tick your answer. Is it below the table, between the table legs, on top of the table. It is on top of the table, as you can see. So C is the correct answer. Jay plants tomatoes in trays. He puts the trays on a shelf. Where does he put the trays of tomatoes? Tick your answer. Is it behind the peas, below the peas, on top of the peas, between the peas? So there we have tomatoes and there we have the peas. So tomatoes are below the peas, under. The vet's assistant shows the customer a dog feeding toy they sell. The customer asks if he can use the bone treats with the toy. This is where the treats go. What does the vet's assistant tell the customer? You can put the bone treats inside the toy.
A customer wants to buy a vase. He asks a volunteer if they have a vase. These items are displayed on a shelf. The volunteer tells him where the vase is. Complete the sentence to show what the volunteer told the customer. There is a vase on the shelf, the candlesticks and the mirror. Here are the candlesticks and here we have the mirror. So the vase is between the candlesticks and the mirror. A customer wants to buy some sage plants. He asks an assistant where the mint plants are. The assistant looks on these shelves. What does the assistant say? Finish the sentence. The sage plants are on the middle shelf. The customer has this amount of money. How much money does he have? Give units with your answer. So that we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 pounds. He buys seven plants from the shelves. How much money will he have left? Show you working out. So he buys seven plants. The cost of one plant is four pounds. So we'll do four times seven, or seven times four, to be more correct. So seven times four, that is 28 pounds. So he's got 40 pounds. So 40 take away 28. Now you can use a calculator for that. And that gives us 12. So 12 pounds he will have left. A passenger's flight leaves at 1 o'clock. He checks his watch. Has this plane left? Give a reason for your answer. Use the clock time to help you. So what is the time now? The hours hand, that is in between 12 and 1, so it's nearly 1 o'clock. And it's quarter to 1, so it's not 1 o'clock yet. So has the plane left? We're going to say no. And the reason is that it's not... One o'clock yet. Quarter to one. His flight leaves from gate 128. This sign shows the gates at the airport. In which terminal is gate 128? So we have terminal A for gates 1 to 55, terminal B for gates 56 to 134. So 128 is in between 56 and 134. So we're going to say terminal B. Kevin will write the address on the top of the parcel. 
put a cross on the top of the parcel to show where the address will go. So top of the parcel is there. And that's the end of the questions.